time, everybody clap your hands. hands. Shark. Shark. Do, 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 do. Shark. Do, 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 do. That's a very wow. good. That's very good use of your words. That's very good using your words. Yes, I can. Making. This is my solution. Two. Ribs. Okay. I'll stack them up here uh. to the middle, right? So they come up like this. So He's always right. trying to make his cooking better. He has a channel. It's called Happy Eating. I think <clears> you guys know by now. In case you don't, now you do. But he has another idea, which is awesome. Is this in there? I have a one and one. Yeah, it's gonna be. I said it's cool one. Oh, a balance run. I don't even know what a balance run is. It sounds legit. It, What's up with your like cereal? Your cereal's getting sad because you're not eating it. I'm sad in the cereal. I'm sad. Hmm. Say, it's okay, cereal. Don't be sad. I'll eat you. It's okay, cereal. I won't eat you. It's cereal. Don't go away. It's doing like this. Can I call Silvio Caucha? I'm telling mommy something. Okay. Can I call? Did you finish your breakfast? Mm -hmm. What are you going to eat now? This. What is that? A vitamin. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, you may have your vitamin now. You're going to be big and strong today. <gasps> is your vitamin delicious? Mm -hmm. in the bell. How is the farmer in the bell? The cat get the mouse. The cat get the mouse. Good job, Silas. And that was a solo by Sigourney Weaver. I like your car. What kind of car are you driving? Grammy's. Grammy's car. He always is driving Grammy's car, right? This is a race car one. Oh, Grammy has a race car? Uh-huh. Okay. We are driving. I don't know. Where are we going? To the church. Oh, we're driving? I'm. We're not driving. He's driving and we're going to the church. Driving in a car. Oh, it's a stick shift. All right, can you get me out? Open the door. Can you take off my seatbelt? I'm in a car seat. He has such a unique imagination, you guys. I have so much work to do this morning. But he's only going to be three for so long, so here we are. Don't want to be a snowman. You just, you just drooled, and the drool went in your tractor. It was so gross. I want my motorcycle. Baby, do you want your motorcycle to live? Uh-huh. Okay, then it's probably not a good idea for me to ride on your motorcycle. Edo snacked for you and he asked me to bring it to him. Did you not? We have some work to do. I'm on hold with our medical insurance company to make some changes to some stuff. And Ryan is knee deep. And I'm on hold too. And he's on hold too. Trying to get some work done over here. So our Costco membership check was sent elsewhere so it was sent to an apartment Ryan and I had when we were dating no it was your apartment, apartment. that we lived in for like three months until we, we bought our first again. house yeah Silas has gone to bed he's taking a nap and Ryan and I are just really being responsible still Ryan just told me that he entered He's doing our taxes. He said that we owe a million dollars on taxes only because he forgot to put in decimals or he didn't put in decimals because you know how sometimes it auto generates it. But can you guys imagine owing a million dollars to the IRS? <gasps> I'd be like, I owe you, IRS. 
I got you next time. A period is a lot more different than a comma. We're being productive, you guys. I gotta go to Walmart here shortly. I love Walmart, you guys. I, it, huh? I think I'm just talking out loud. Oh, we're both talking out loud and we keep responding to each other. You would think that we wouldn't talk out loud. I haven't talked to my mom all day today. That's crazy. I'm leaving to go to Walmart to go get, so Silas actually, he had underwear or he has underwear that the twins, that he inherited from the twins, like poor sibling, poor third child. So he has underwear, but I feel like they disappear. <coughs> is, is that possible? They disappear after maybe it's because I feel like I give him a new underwear each That's time. That's his it's underwear. underwear. <laughs> That's kind of gross. Like, I guess it's clean if it goes in the dryer, right? Yeah. So I got to go get him new underwear or more underwears, brand new underwears for the first time. And then Ryan needs chunky peanut butter. I think you guys all know that. So <laughs> I'm leaving. Let me know if you need anything else. Productivity kiss. Productivity kiss. This is, this is how old school I am. <laughs> the list. Ryan always makes fun of me. He said, you have a smartphone. Why don't you put him on there? I hope, hope, hope to be back by the time Silas wakes up from his nap. And I'm just, I'm not gonna lollygag. Is that a word? I'm not gonna lollygag at the store. So, um, like I was telling you guys earlier, I haven't talked to my mother. So I'm gonna call her, catch up with her for a little bit and connect back with you later. What do you guys think about a Walmart haul? Should I do a Walmart haul? That would be fun, wouldn't it? I'll do that, I think. We'll see. I wanna share my thoughts with you guys about my experience at Walmart. So, I went to get lotion for the boys because they needed lotion. And typically they use, there's a siren going back. Typically, they use baby lotion, but I was just thinking twins are seven now, and technically they don't really need like baby lotion, and I just wanted to get them like a moisturizing lotion, just like nothing special, just something from Walmart. So I picked that up. I couldn't find it anywhere in the typical area that I assumed it would be in, so I asked the lady at Walmart where it would be, and she said, oh, that's in cosmetics. So I go inside cosmetics, leave my cart outside of the cosmetic area because the cosmetic area is like this tiny. I'm walking out with the lotion because I need to pay for the rest of my purchases. So she said, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to pay for that here. So I'm like, all right, I have a whole cart of it. She goes, that's fine, I can go ahead and help you here this time. I'm thinking, this time, okay. So she starts ringing up my stuff and I have uh, grapes in there also for just the kids to have as like, the grapes just look delicious. So I picked up some grapes. And she said, I can't ring up stuff that needs to be weighed in this department. So I'm like, you're telling me that I have to buy my lotion here. So you're gonna let me purchase it here this time. Next time I'm just, you know, whatever I need to do. And then on top of all of that, I can't buy the grapes here. I don't know, it's just frustrating. I just, I feel like I experience this often. It's like, I'm not a shoplifter. I, I pay for my stuff. We work hard for our money and we, you know, budget well and we balance our money well and all of that stuff. But it's just like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to not be offended when you go into stores and they have these set rules. And I know they have it, you know, for their loss prevention or whatever reasons that they have. But it's like, I don't know guys, it just, it hurts my feelings. It really does. Am I alone in this? Okay, so that was that. I'm driving home. It's like raining, like super, super, super raining right now. Kids are gonna be out of school within the next half an hour and we're gaining two extra kids today. Um, my friend had surgery and we offered to keep their her kids at our house after school. Um, we offered to help with homework and also bath time and then return them back to sender before bedtime. I know our twins are gonna be really excited and um, they're Jessica's kids. I'm sure that you guys, a majority of my bloggers or a majority of my subscribers are um, Jess Fam's subscribers also. So I'm thinking you may know a thing or two about whose kids they are by the time they arrive and all of that stuff. So yeah, Kaden and Kyson are coming over after school. Then all four of them, 
they pretty much since they're in like each other's classes Ryan and Ryan will be able to help two sets of them and I'll be able to help the other two sets um, get their homework and stuff like that done so it's actually I don't know it's being it's using adults efficiently is what I would like to say and then their Mimi's gonna pick them up or we're gonna drop them off a little bit later but we're gonna feed them also and return them back so I'm kind of trying to get home and unload these groceries before they get here and spend just a little bit more time with Silas because the house is gonna go from one kid to five kids in like no time that's it for right now enjoy the peace and quiet I'll turn off the blinker moment of silence before the silence is gone hey everybody Everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Until next time. We'll see you next time. Come on, time. let's go. Let's go.